food is a source of life, energy, health and pleasure. Food acceptance depends on some key factors such as appearance, aroma, taste and temperature, besides the physiological and psychological attributes of each individual. Among these factors, the most important ones are the five basic tastes – sweet, sour, salty, bitter and umami. My name is Renata Jabali and in this video we will learn a little more about umami, the fifth basic taste. The discovery of umami is directly linked to oriental cooking. For many centuries, the Japanese have used some types of seaweed to give a special taste to broth and many other dishes. In 1908, Professor Kikunai Ikeda from Tokyo University, curious to know how these seaweeds made food tastier, isolated and identified glutamate, revealing the secret of its properties. This special taste given to food by glutamate was called umami by Professor Ikeda. Umami is a Japanese word that means delicious. Umami is considered to be the fifth basic taste, since it cannot be obtained by any combination of the other four basic tastes, and it has specific and independent taste receptors. Researchers from Miami University confirmed the existence of these receptors, which correspond only to the umami taste. Let's understand how we can identify the taste of foods. The food which we ingest releases several substances that compose the taste and which stimulate our tongue. Observe the tongue surface after drinking milk. Several small projections are not filled. These are the taste papillas. In these papillas are the taste buds which carry the calls which are responsible for taste perceptions. The taste cells are connected to neurofibers which receive electric stimuli from the cells and transmit taste information to the brain. Basic tastes, once identified by the receptors and the brain, develop a psychological meaning to our body. After physical exercise, we feel the need to eat sweet foods because sugar is a source of energy. In the same way, we want to eat salty food after sweating because salt provides the mineral balance of the fluids in our body. Therefore, the appetite reflects our physiological needs. So, the umami taste sends a signal telling the brain that food of protein content has been ingested. The signal triggers saliva secretion and also starts preparing the process for food digestion. For this reason, we identify umami as a pleasant taste. Umami is imparted by the natural glutamate present in food, or it can be added through MSG, monosodium glutamate, such as Ajinomoto. Glutamate is one of the most abundant amino acids found in food rich in proteins, such as meat, fish, animal milk, and human breast milk, and some vegetables, such as tomato. Increased levels of free glutamate are related to the development of flavor in the ripening process of vegetables, cheese, and cured meat products. In tomatoes, the level of free glutamate can increase more than eight times during ripening. In nature, glutamate can be found in free form or bound to other amino acids as protein builders. Human beings are in contact with glutamate from birth. It represents 20% of free amino acids naturally found in mother's breast milk. This means that a breastfeeding child ingests more free glutamate per kilogram of body weight than at any other time in life. The average person consumes about 10 grams of bound glutamate and 1 gram of free glutamate in meals daily. However, the intake of glutamate through monosodium glutamate adds only 0.5 to 1.5 grams per day. Regardless of its source, be it naturally present or added to food, the human body recognizes glutamate via the umami receptors and metabolizes it in the same way, irrespective of origin. Glutamate is an amino acid that is fully synthesized by the body. It is synthesized by the muscles, by the kidneys, by the liver and by other organs and tissues. 
In the brain, glutamate works as an excitatory neurotransmitter, contributing to learning and memory. The human body synthesizes about 50 grams of free glutamate per day. Altogether, an adult of 70 kilos carries a total mass of almost 2 kilos of glutamate. Glutamate plays an essential role in metabolism. Derived from food, it is the main source of energy to the intestine. Once absorbed, glutamate turns into an intermediate in the Krebs cycle. Through its intermediates, glutamate is essential for the conversion of organic nitrogen into ammonia and urea, releasing excess nitrogen from the body. Together with other amino acids, glutamate is required for the production of glutathione. This antioxidant molecule is important in the body's defense mechanism against external agents. The placenta also depends on glutamate, which acts as a source of energy for this vital organ, which supports embryonic life. As we saw, glutamate can also be added to food through MSG. MSG is for umami, what sucrose is for sweet, sodium chloride is for salty, citric acid is for sour, and caffeine is for bitter. MSG makes food even tastier, giving more impact, continuity, complexity and flavor harmonization. This harmonization is possible because MSG is able to interact with other tastes. As a result, it reduces and softens excessively salty and sour tastes, and also moderates the bitter aftertaste of some foods. As MSG contains only one-third of the sodium level of table salt, it is used in diets for hypertensive people, enhancing food flavor at reduced sodium levels. A study published in 1998 proved that as MSG promotes better perception of flavor, it also contributes to better nutritional balance amongst the elderly, who with advancing age tend to suffer from reduced sensitivity to flavor. Now, let's learn how MSG, the sodium salt of glutamic acid, is produced. By fermentation, sources of sugars are converted into glutamic acid, which is transformed into MSG after several stages of the manufacturing process. In Brazil, sugarcane derivatives are used as raw material. MSG is not the only substance responsible for flavor enhancement. In order to add more umami to food, some nucleotides are used disodium inosinate, or IMP, and disodium guanylate, or GMP. Nucleotides are important elements of nucleic acids, materials that build DNA. As with MSG, nucleotides are obtained by a fermentation process, but in this case, starch is the raw material used. As with glutamate, these substances occur naturally in many foods. IMP is mainly found in beef, poultry and fish, and GMP mainly in mushrooms. As with MSG, nucleotides also interact with the other basic tastes, reducing excessively salty and unpleasant sour, moderating bitter and potentiating umami. There is a very strong synergistic effect between MSG and nucleotides that has already been used in cooking, such as European bouillon broth, Chinese tang broth and Japanese dashi broth through the natural combination of foods of animal and vegetable origin. The synergistic effect between MSG and nucleotides increases the intensity of umami. Flavor enhancers are largely used in processed food to restore the flavor partially lost during the manufacturing process. Are used in broths, soups, sauces, seasonings, meat products, canned products, ready-made dishes, snacks and many others. As for physical properties, flavor enhancers have high solubility and high stability under many processing conditions. The appropriate dosage of each flavor enhancer will depend on raw material quality, regional preferences and the amount of other seasonings used. Based on several studies, there is a general consensus within the scientific community that these ingredients are safe for the general population, including pregnant women, breastfeeding mothers and children. The FDA, a body which regulates the use of food and drugs in the USA, has classified these flavor enhancers as GRAS, generally recognized as safe, 
The same classification given to salt, vinegar and pepper. JECFA, a committee specialized in the evaluation of food additives, is a scientific advisory board of great prestige, and it also classifies these flavor enhancers as acceptable daily intake, not specified. Ajinomoto has contributed to the promotion of the umami taste in several cultures, manufacturing products of high quality available in many countries.